There's something about being in a Spanish kitchen that makes your heart beat faster. The speed the chefs work, the smell of garlic, saffron and paprika. Welcome to the fast, fiery world of Spanish food. Join our food safari to learn how to make the perfect Spanish omelette, garlic prawns and delicious gazpacho. Master tips on making an easy paella, a yummy pork dish and a deeply satisfying dessert. There's no subtlety in Spanish cuisine. It's all in your face and it's all really strong. Garlic, Spanish paprika, um, saffron, maximum flavours, maximum enjoyment. It's about having a great time with your family and it's about sharing. Frank Camora grew up in Geelong in a Spanish-speaking household, worked as a chef in Spain and last year opened Movida, Melbourne's hippest tapas lounge. One of the most important Spanish ingredients is uh, calasparra rice, uh, essential for making paella. You wouldn't think about making a paella with any other variety of rice. And this rice here absorbs three times its, its volume in, in liquid um, and also really has low starch, so it comes out nice and fluffy, wow. which is what you want. And the saffron is the essential spice of paella. It's um, not only about the colour that it produces, but it's also about the, the flavour and the aroma that it brings to a, a great paella. Pimentón is one of the essential Spanish spices. It's um, giving the cuisine a, a specific flavour and depth um, that you can't really achieve with other styles of paprika. So mm. in here we have dulce, which is a sweet paprika. Mm. We also have the smoked humado, which Umado? is just a tiny little sprinkle over you know, dishes like octopus, lift up a, a dish fantastically. Mm. And the packaging is pretty special too. Well, the packaging is, you know, it, classic Spanish packaging. It's, uh, this is, you know, 70s images or, you know, 50s graphics that they continue oh. to use in their food. But does it bring you love? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe 70s love. <laughs> <laughs> and cheese? Does cheese take a big, big spot in the Spanish heart? <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, yeah. cheese is associated more with the north of Spain because mm. that's the, the greater dairy producing area of Spain. Mm. Um, things like manchego cheese, um, which is the classic Spanish sheep's milk cheese, a really hard, dense cheese, um, yeah, sort of like, almost like a parmesan in, in, in characteristics. Uh, we have mahon cheese, mm. um, it has a really piquant flavour, sort of semi-hard um, cow's milk cheese. Um, and also they do a variety of blue cheeses and soft goat's cheeses as oh, well. beautiful. And the quince paste, would you have quince with cheese? Um, yeah, I mean, membrillo, which is mm. the classic Spanish name for it, is um, a great combination, manchego cheese mm. and quince paste. Olive oil in Spain is a little bit more fruity than, say, an Italian olive oil, which has that peppery aftertaste. Mm. And are you using the olive oil to cook with and finish dishes as well? Absolutely. Really great olive oil to finish a dish with. You know, Spanish olive oil is used pretty liberally in, in the cuisine um, and also, you know, obviously to start our, our food with, yeah. Olive oil is certainly used liberally to cook the classic potato omelette. For economist Paula Horta, it's the show-off dish she takes to Aussie barbecue. I love olive oil. Yeah. I use it with everything and mm. extra virgin olive oil on top of everything. Fantastic. It's just great. And that's ready when you can hear it and it's bubbling. Mm. So the potatoes should be a bit, a bit soft. You leave that to get dry and every now and then you, you turn it and just check on it. But in the meantime, you, ex, uh, you whisk some eggs. So you use the best eggs? Yeah, organic eggs. Mm. The, the, the best of quality, the, the better mm. the result, you know. Mm. And you drain the oil as much as you can. Ah, oh, there you go. And it goes into the eggs. So, so you don't even want them golden? Well, you could, but you don't want to over fry them because mm. you want them soft, you don't want them crispy. Mm -hmm. So. And now, depend, depending on how 
dry and runny you want it. Mm -hmm. You let it stay longer or less. And flip it. We put it back. The other side of the omelet. You want to hold it? Yep. Onto the plate. Oh. That's it. Done. Artwork. Fantastic. Ready for it? You want to have a try? It is a bit runny, but oh. that's the way. I will have it at home. Mm. Uh -huh. Beautiful. That is beautiful. Mm. Mm. That's it. Simple. That is so nice. Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 presents Anna and Christina's Cru